Hello, lovely people. Everything looks really, really good. It's about 2.30 and I'm about to go on stage at 3. Oh, your girl is going on stage. Crazy, right? Anyways, y'all, I'm using a new mic. I hope you can hear me. I hope the audio is much better. Because I realize when I'm outside, the audio isn't always great. So I'm, you know, trying to step it up for you guys. But yeah, really enjoying the time here at ProFest. And I hope you're enjoying the video. Guys, I'm meeting people who follow me on YouTube, so I want her to give herself a shout out. Hey guys, so yes, I'm so grateful to this curve here. Uh, my name is Shars. Well, my YouTube page, I should say, is Shars Expressions, and my business name is Shars Expressions as well. I'm originally, of course, born and raised in Dominica, but I live in Antigua. Okay, so my business is all about expressing oneself through head wraps, accessories, and so much more. So please go over to my YouTube if you don't mind and subscribe. I really truly appreciate it. And I'll put your information in the description box below. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice to see you. Right, take care. And then I'll get some video of your guys. Say hi to my followers. Hi. What's your name? Diane Lebla. Nice to see you. Thank it's you. nice to see everybody that I interact with on YouTube in person. Thank you for watching and subscribing. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll see you around. You look really nice. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You guys, say hi to one of our guys. I see you at the homemade point going on. Let's take down there. She comments on all of my videos. Thank you for watching and commenting. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you again. Same here. <laughs> it's time for my little section on natural hair and my natural hair journey is three of us that's gonna be speaking I'm feeling a little nervous right 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 now but it's gonna be fine I'm speaking about natural hair that's I talk about that all the time right no reason to be nervous so yeah hopefully I can get some good clips I have a friend who's gonna help me record try <laughs> to help me record <laughs> it's gonna be fine but yeah so the next question that we want to answer is what are some misconceptions of natural hair that you aim to debunk? And I'll just go first. I kind of touched on this in my first question and that a lot of times we feel like natural hair is not appropriate. And it's crazy because how can the hair that grows out of your scalp be not appropriate? Natural hair is always appropriate. Natural hair in its most natural form it's always appropriate for whatever occasion, whether that's a work, a wedding, a funeral, it, an interview, it doesn't matter. Your natural hair in the natural state is always going to be appropriate. Of course, you can have your preference of how you want to wear your hair, but you should never feel like, man, I have to do something to my hair. I have to tame my hair because I'm going to work. I have to tame my hair because I'm going to a wedding. Your natural hair, the way that it grows, is always appropriate. 110 percent so what i'd like to say in terms of debunking natural hair um is that it doesn't grow and it's expensive that is not true i have grown my hair don't get me wrong i'm not saying that everyone can grow their hair as long as they want to there are certain limitations right but i have 4c 4 4b 4c here and my hair grew all the way down here without doing anything crazy. So I want to debunk that because a lot of people say that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just a little distracted. But um, everybody thinks that natural hair can grow, especially if it's 4B, 4C, if it's our natural hair, especially in the Caribbean. There's this, there's this stigma about natural hair not being able to grow and. I've debunked that multiple times. So my natural hair journey is probably different than most because I have never had a perm. So I never went through the phase of the I creamy crack. Never, no. So my hair has been natural as I was born my entire life. I did do a big chop because I wanted to be in things. Everybody big chopping, so I want a big chop. <laughs> but I never had a perm. So I've always had my natural hair. 
but I realized that I was never really wearing my natural hair. I, if I was going on vacation, I felt like I needed to get braids. If I was going to a job interview, I felt like I needed to get weave, straight weave. If it depended, if I was going to a wedding, I felt like I needed to do an updo and put some weave in there, you know? So even though I have natural hair, I never really was wearing my natural hair. And so in 2021, I gave myself a challenge for the month of February, since that's Black History Month, to wear my natural hair for the entire month. And then it was like three months later, I realized I was still wearing my natural hair. I was getting creative with the styles. I was sharing the styles, sharing the fails on my social media platforms. And the people were loving it. And so that encouraged me to just continue sharing my natural hair. Recently, I went on vacation and I kept my natural hair on vacation. That was like a big deal for That's me. You. At work, I wear my natural hair all the time at work. And so I started to embrace my natural hair, even though I've always been natural. It was just to be patient with your hair. I feel like we are not always patient with our hair. If we do one style and it didn't come out right, all of a sudden you hate natural hair. But if you went and got a weave and the weave wasn't right, you wouldn't hate weaves. You would just try a next weave, right? You would find one that works for you. So if you try one style, if you try a twist out and it didn't work, try a braid out. If you try a braid out and it didn't work, try a ponytail, but find a style that's gonna work for you. And my second tip would be to find influencers or content creators that have a similar hair type as you. Because if you're watching somebody with real loose curls and they're trying styles and then you're gonna try to do it, it's not gonna work like you. So if you have 4B, 4C hair, find low Perret. I don't know all the other hair types, but find someone with texture that looks like you so that you can follow their tutorials. is like running at this point because it's so hot but guess what there's a whole makeup touch-up station to get me right i put on my sunglasses to like hide half of my face but we're about to, we're about to get a little touch-up like that is so thoughtful to me that's my kind of vibe so this is this is the owner tell us a little bit about your business um so this is kayla i started this probably my first year of college it's been about three years now we started with lashes alone but now we've branched out to um, eyebrow pencils setting powder makeup cloth we have bags we have everything we're just trying to build branch out more so you know fancy beauty we have period i love it <laughs> it's gonna grow just into that <laughs> thank you So I am back from ProFest. I had the most amazing time. It was just such a beautiful event with beautiful black people. The melanin was definitely present at ProFest. The outfits, the hair, the vibes, the vendors, everything was given. I met so many of you guys. Some of you guys are actually in this vlog. Some people I didn't get to record. I got some photos with some people. But I just met so many of you guys and I just cannot believe there are so many people in Antigua that follow little old me. Like when I'm in Dominica, it's like I still love it and, and obviously I appreciate you guys, but it's like I'm this is Dominica, that's where I'm from. But Antigua, like I know a lot of you guys found me through Michelle's channel. Cause a girl was like, Oh, you're Michelle's friend, right? I follow you because of Michelle. So that's lovely as well. Thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to the organizers of Fro Festival for inviting me to come out. I had the most amazing time. I am exhausted. I'm tired, but I had a really good time. I got a lot of goodies and I'm looking at it right now, but I think I'll show you guys the goodies that I got tomorrow when I'm a little bit more refreshed. Right now, it's time to go take a long shower, drink some tea, and get in the bed. Because we have another day of adventure tomorrow. So, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! 
It's day two in Antigua. And you guys, we're vlogging from the phone. My camera, I think my camera has officially gone bye-bye. It has been on live support since Dominica because I got it wet. And I think it's done with me. It's just acting crazy. This is after I bought, bought new mics and all sorts of stuff, but you know, what can we do? So I think the quality should still be good. Hopefully it is. But yeah, so today we have an ad uh, adventure for the day. We're on our way to the Pillars of Hercules. We're gonna go to Shirley Heights. We're gonna go on our boat. We're just gonna do all the fun things. So let's go. nice and relaxing I really just want to stay here like just sit but we sat for like 15 minutes I think and now we're just gonna head back and I think the next stop is Shirley Heights yeah the next stop is Shirley Heights which if I'm correct it's kind of like Cabrits in Dominica because you know like every island had their own fort and Shirley Heights is like that so yeah you guys swing a random swing in the middle of the, the hike <laughs> thank you to whoever left this here for us to find <sighs> you guys can go on without me i'll be here for the rest of the day <laughs> you guys you gotta go down low pick up slow <laughs> 10 points for that having fish as always you guys can already guess it's always gonna be fish for me and i'm having some baked that really looks like dumplings tastes like baked but it's slightly sweeter but it's good they told us they had salsa just but they gave us lemonade but the lemonade is good so i'm not gonna be mad at them for that but next time i want real salsa okay okay guys a quick switch up we got new sunnies on a new outfit because we put on our swimsuit the land part of our tour is done and we're about to get on the boat and that's when it's about to get nasty business vibes you know 
<laughs> just joking. But we are, ah, okay, we're on a dirt road right now. So I guess apparently the land part of our tour is still going on. But we're driving to, <laughs> we're driving to the boat. <laughs> That was funny! <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just a natural comic. <laughs> We're driving to the boat and it's just gonna be music and stuff and vibes, drinks or whatever. <laughs> Scorching hot, so that's good. I think it's about to be a vibe. We stopped KFC and got a bucket of chicken, which I think is fun. Hello, and we got some drinks. And really, that's what you need drinks, music, and good people. And you get so, yeah, and I also have my drone, which I'm so scared to fly because I don't want it to fall in the water. I'll just literally cry. Enjoying the vlog. Sorry, I have to be vlogging on my phone, you guys, because my camera just went kaput. What to do? But the song is not saying nothing to translate yet. Anyone, let's go. We have now we have three boats. Another boat just joined. Sabe. Sabe. That's basically like my friends. Sabe. switching from my camera to my phone but we have an adventure today I am with do you guys have like a name for your team or just well all of us like different different yeah. okay so I'll let you guys introduce our, yourselves we have I'm Zio we'll show. <laughs> and he's the main photographer and then we have in the back simple simple films on Instagram and you are a videographer videographer mm -hmm. awesome and then in the back again we have Kiara the assistant okay and I'll put all their information in my description box 
but we're about to create some magic so let's see what happens i'm excited we got the top down again today so it's gonna be vibes let's go so we just took some bomb photos and we got some drone footage as well hopefully you're seeing that in the vlog now we are at a different location we're at the beach but really at these rocks and this location is beautiful you guys ah, just creating some magic i'm really happy i got to link up with these creative folks to get some content for y'all so yeah my camera stopped working so we're just gonna forget about the camera because it's starting to frustrate me so we're just gonna be vlogging on our phone and it's okay because the phone quality is not like terrible terrible right it's still okay so yeah. you guys i have been such a terrible vlogger this vlog is really all over the place and i feel bad about it because I had such good intentions to vlog, a perfect vlog for you guys, but I'm not gonna lie, not having my camera was getting to me a little bit to see that I planned this trip and my camera just decides it's gonna completely die. It's very rude, very, very rude. And yeah, but I am on the beach. Today was really a content day. I spent some time, as I told you guys earlier, shooting some content i think we got some beautiful shots i'm very excited to see how it all comes out i went back to my airbnb put on my swimsuit unfortunately returned the jeep because it was time to return the jeep and picked my cousin up and we are now on the beach i think this is this beach is called salt plage that's what she said right Ron? Marina Bay. Marina Bay. marina bay and salt plage is different also salt plage is the restaurant marina bay is the beach so that's where we're at ron you know come and say hi to my vlog have you said hi to my vlog before you running away <laughs> oh the beach is beautiful 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 yeah this is where y'all gonna find me for the rest of the evening on this beach. So we ate um, and the food was very fair to partly cloudy. It was probably like a five out of 10, honestly. It was just not given anything. And so after we're done eating, I'm like, oh, let's just sit on the beach. Y'all, mosquitoes are eating my butt. So we gotta wrap it up. We got to go. Yeah, the beach at this time, I don't know, it's a sunfly or mosquito or what it is, but I'm getting eaten up and that's not good. <laughs> we're gonna pack up. And I don't even know where we're gonna go next, but wherever we go, I'll take you guys with me because I'm a good vlogger. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting to go to the beach because we need all the beach time we can get, okay? I have on just a simple swimsuit. I don't know if I'm gonna keep on these glasses, honestly. I feel like it's doing too much. <laughs> so I think I might lose the glasses and just have the sun on my face. But I literally just woke up, so there's that as well. But yeah, we are heading to the beach. I'm not sure which beach we're heading to yet, but you know.
guys we've literally been in the water for what like two and a half hours look at my fingers look at my fingers they're like grandma fingers and my toes too <sighs> it was really nice my cousin and i had such good conversation with a pong in bath i'm hoping i can see an uncle of mine that i've never met before that'd be pretty cool but we need to go get something to eat because we're hungry but it was very very needed this sea bath was well needed very therapeutic i feel real good Okay guys, I am back from the beach. I had a, such a beautiful time at the beach this morning. It's exactly how I wanted to spend my last few hours on island, is at the beach. But right now, we gotta get to packing. My flight is not till 4 p.m. So I have a little bit of time, but really time flies so fast. Before you know, it will be time for me to go to the airport. So I wanna pack up all my things so that when it's time for me to go, I could just, you know, go and I won't be rushing. I really did not use half of the stuff that I brought, which is usual for me. Very, very typical. But yeah, we're gonna pack up. I kinda like to leave the Airbnb as clean as possible. I don't know, I, I, that, that's just who I am. I don't like leaving hotels, Airbnbs in like a complete disaster, which it's not a complete disaster. I try to like keep things as organized as possible. So yeah. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack up. I'm gonna put on some music and get to pack in. <laughs> Guys, I have Danielle here with me at the airport. I'm so happy I got to meet her. We were supposed to meet at Fro Festival, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm very happy that she still messaged me and we, well, she's working at the airport. So it's worked out perfectly, but she follows me and engages with my content, so. I'm really happy to get to meet her, so it's Danielle! <laughs> so I am about to board my flight back to the US. The trip has come to an end. You guys, I definitely thought I was past my whole apologizing for not having a great vlog stage of a content creator. But because I lost my camera, well not lost, but because my camera stopped working, I just know that this vlog is literally all over the place and I'm very, very sorry for that. But better couldn't be done. So hopefully this is something. Definitely follow me on Instagram because I have a lot of content posted there. D's underscore curve. And I'll see you in the next one. And of course, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bye.